welcome back to my channel. It's Chloe and I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. So make sure you subscribe to see more. Today you'll be able to tell I'm in a little bit of a different background and that is because I am filming my closet or wardrobe tour. Now this has been requested by a few different people so I do hope you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So like I say, I am stood here in my wardrobe room. So it is a dressing room, there's a full room in front of me. But today I'm just going to be focusing on this part which is my wardrobe. We do have a full wall of these mirrored kind of sliding doors which you'll be able to see just here which cover the whole length of the one side of the room and then Lee has his on one side and I have mine on the other side. So we're just going to be focusing on my side today because we don't want to focus on the boring boring bits. So this is my wardrobe. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown and then I'll bring you in closer to show you some specific parts as well. There's probably about four main parts to the wardrobe. So we've got one rail along the top. Also it is still really windy so sorry if you can hear that. There's no way of combating that. But I have one rail across the top one rail across the bottom, then I have a few little cubby holes and then four drawers along the bottom as well. Now these wardrobes, Lee and his dad actually fitted themselves, so I believe that we ordered them from Screwfix when we first moved in. And we did look at having some fitted wardrobe companies come and do it for us, but we just found they were like super expensive and we could get all of the essential bits that you need to do them direct from like I say screw fix and then him and his dad were able to fit them for us and do an absolutely amazing job. Now first of all let's come up onto my first rail here. Also I do need to do a little quick disclaimer about this. This is my real life wardrobe. I did have some reservations about filming this today because it doesn't look perfect but then I told Lee that and he was like no this is real life. Film it as it is. It's not all prim and proper. This is how most people's wardrobes look so we're going with that. So up on this first rail is where I keep my tops and dresses. So there is some kind of order to it. I know it doesn't look like it because I have too many clothes and they're super full. But I get rid of a lot like every few months and I make sure I give them away to charity. So I do have a good declutter every so often. So I'm going to take you from right to left. So up here we have tops. At the very end I do have this which is a jewellery holder which my mum got for me. And that just has a few different bits on there, so like some chunkier necklaces that won't fit in my actual jewellery box. A big headband, my glittery shell earrings, but I got these for my Hendy when we were dressing up as mermaids. It does have things on both sides, so like I say, it's for all those bigger necklaces that I don't have room for. And then next to it I have this long pink duster jacket which is just super long so it won't fit anywhere else so that's why it's on the end and then i have a couple of work tops and then we move in to the top section which is this section here so it does look a bit of a mess but i promise you it's all color coordinated so we kind of go from neutral colors into whites into stripes then the stripes blue so that goes into blue then into more colorful patterns and i have a whole range of different things here so this one is one of my favourites. This is a bodysuit from Misguided that I got from my Hendu. I've got a couple of white kind of summery shirts and then a plaid flannel one which I got from Aeropostale and then a couple of striped Ralph Lauren shirts which are some of my favourites. Like I say we then we move into the blues and then the more patterned ones. I've got a whole range of different things in here so like these are more boho -y, some more summery off the shoulder style ones. This blouse which I love which I got from Primark and also my leopard print shirt from Primark. Then we move on to the main chunk of the wardrobe which is dresses. So we start here with like the greys and the blues which then goes into some neutral tones, greens, reds, pinks and finishing up with whites. So a couple of my favourites is this gorgeous French Connection one and I got this when I was about 18 or 19 and it was slightly more expensive but I did get it in the sale and if there's ever a dress that's had good cost per wear then it's definitely this one. I actually wore this when I went out for my birthday meal at The Alchemist recently so if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen pics of me in this dress recently. That's all like my blacks different colours then we move on to like the more navies. Nope there's just a random navy one in there. See, real life, we move on to greys instead. So I've got some thicker jumper ones into like your t-shirt style dresses. 
obviously there's a lot of Primark in here. And then move on to blues and whites. So I've got a couple of t-shirt dresses. This is a new one that I've just picked up recently from Boohoo. And this is for my Florida trip in October. And I think this was about £12 on sale. Just a plain white t-shirt dress with the kind of old school Mickey design on the front. And I've got some really cool outfit ideas for this. I think I'm going to pair it with some cycling style shorts and my new Converse that I've got as well. Another favourite of mine is this blue check smock dress, which I think is from Glamorous. And I've got some more blue striped things because apparently I really like that. Denim dresses, more party style dresses. Apparently I really like blue. And then we move on into the neutral section. So my favourite piece in here is this dress by Guess. And I picked this up in an outlet here fairly recently within the last year I would say and I wore this when we went to London last year and it looked just so nice it's quite straight down at the sides it's quite open and it's got like a couple of slits and yeah it just looks super kind of understated yet sexy so I like that one I've got my gorgeous black milk Harry Potter dress which is the Mirage's map dress and then that brings us on into the green kind of section which has got the favourite dress from French Connection and this I wore for my 18th and I've also worn it numerous times after this again it's one of those gorgeous French Connection dresses that's just a kind of classic style was really expensive when I first bought it I think it was about £120 but that was 10 years ago now and again if you work it out for cost per wear it's definitely worth the money in my opinion and it has kept all the sequins on it too and then this last section is all the reds and pinks so there is a lot in here we've got my super sparkly sequin rose gold dress that I wore for my engagement party and this is from ASOS it's a mini dress with long sleeves if you haven't already guessed this is one of my favorite styles of dresses I just really like the way it looks on myself. I've always been one for showing my legs off rather than on top. And then it does have a nice plunging back with like a very deep cowl. So it is a super glam and glitzy dress. And like I said, I did wear this for my engagement party. So it is a classic cut, so I will be able to keep this for years to come. But because I did just wear it within the last, I think it was like three years ago, my engagement party. So I don't feel like I can bring it out again just yet, but it'll definitely be staying in there for a glam occasion. And then finally, we move on to some white dresses, which are mainly kind of like rodeo on glaze or just nice white floaty dresses that I like to bring out for my summer holidays. Then we move on to this little section here, which is for my longer coats. So you'll be able to see there's my blue Ted Baker one. A whole range of just my different coats basically I love jackets because here in the UK we do get a lot of wind and rain so you always need a jacket over your outfit more often than not so I like to have a few different ones so that I can really change up the look of my outfit and then right in the corner here which you will not be able to see is my scarves I have a little I think it's like a tie rack or it might actually be a scarf rack and it's from Ikea and it's just loads of different holes all together and they're just looped through there so now let's move down to the bottom rail so down here is where I keep my shorter jackets same goes for what I was saying on top about the jackets I like to have a few different ones this is my gorgeous mustard one which I wore in a recent video and then I have like my Tommy Hilfiger bomber jacket which is one of my favourites and then we move on into gilets because we all know I love a good fur gilet so I have this grey and black one which I got in America I think that's Aero Pastel as well and then I have my new one that I got this year which is the white fluffy one from Primark and then we move into knitwear so this is all of my cardigans and jumpers again in a rough kind of colour coordinated way so we start off with pinks apparently I have a lot of pinks then we go into some blacks navies into greens and then finally into the greys and creams at the end and then this last little section here is for my skirts and shorts so here I keep all of my denim shorts at the start so I have a pair from Topshop my favourite jean shorts that I've ever owned are the Primark mom shorts and I did try some on recently in the same size and it said they're the mom shorts but 
they fit completely differently so I'm not too sure but I absolutely love those and they've got a pearl detail all down the front and they're just gorgeous and then like I say we move into skirts which is mainly the Primark A-line style skirts because they're eight pound and you can get them in so many different colorways so for example I've got this burgundy pleather look one I have a tan one I have a khaki one I have a teal blue one I've just got it in so many different colors it's so gorgeous and then the last thing I have here is my super sparkly silver sequin skirt which I got again for my hen do and yeah absolutely love that one right under here at the bottom as well I do have just a couple of bags and that's just those kind of like night away bags and all the accessories that go along with that so they're under there is storage so I think it's time we moved onto the tall shelves so this might look like a complete mess and that's because half of the time it is and it's because I do have too many clothes for this current storage situation so it just ends up getting really full so up here at the top is where I keep my joggers so I have some from super dry this is a onesie and then I have my lipsy like velour style and then some from Dublin then over here is where I keep my play suits this was super organised once upon a time but because it is like really tall, really high, I can't reach it so everything kind of just gets thrown in there but I'm guessing that's going to move down onto one of the lower shelves now it's coming up to the summertime I want to access these more and then up here I just have a couple of my Disney teddies as well and then here you'll be able to see this little teddy and this is my teddy from when I was growing up it's called Palmer because I got him in Palmer Airport when I was younger and yep he does have an England football top on because that went on him one holiday and yeah so he just sits there watching over my wardrobe oh I did forget to mention as well on the top there is a little space before the roof and that's just where I store my toiletry bags and then boxes for certain items of jewellery so then bring it down into the middle shelf is where I keep my jeans and also my gym gear so here I have all of my jeans I have ones from Topshop my favourite of all time are either the Topshop Joni jeans or the Jamie jeans Topshop jeans just seem to fit me really well so I have a couple of pairs from there I have some these are the white Joni jeans I have some Primark ones these bright pink ones are from Gap I have these camo print ones from TK Maxx and then I have my new favourite that I've just discovered which are the Selected Femme which fit just like the Joni jean and then here is my gym gear this is a complete mess and to be honest I try to tidy it up every so often but it's a little area that I go into every single day so like I've had this on this morning so that's just had to sit up there and then I've just got a whole range of my different things so I have my spirit jersey from Rainforest Cafe different sports bras some gym shark leggings back there but yeah this usually just looks like this most of the time and then in the last shelf is where I have all of my tops so again it is organized chaos so here is all of my long sleeve tops then next to it we have short sleeve tops body suits and then vest tops and then right in the back there is where I keep some little crop tops which I mainly use for like summer holidays in the very back there as well I just have a couple of pairs of leggings so things that I use more on the daily last things to cover are these drawers now I'm not actually going to open them I'm just going to talk through them because it's private things so like in the top one I just have bras and knickers then pajamas fluffy socks and then my swimwear and again you can imagine that they are completely packed as well so that is my whole closet slash wardrobe so if you are interested in seeing where I keep my shoes or my bags or just the rest of the dressing room in general let me know in the comments down below and I can definitely film that for you as well I hope you've enjoyed watching this kind of different style video from me today and I will see you on the next one so bye